Hey guys, hey! So I decided to make this video of me making the most delicious, apparently, <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs for my baby who has been dying for my food. Um, so what I didn't get to show you was I used San Marzano tomatoes uh, for the sauce and then just a regular packet from um, McCormick's of Zesty Tomato Sauce because I don't have, as you can watch this video, you're going to see, I don't really have a whole lot of stuff available to me um, that I don't buy myself. So I didn't want to have to buy all the Italian seasonings. Um, I should have bought real garlic. I really should have bought another cutting board because that was like the worst part of this. And the fact that the the mixing bowl I had was so ridiculously small. But you'll see that throughout the video. And, uh, <laughs> hope you guys like stuff like this. Every once in a while I'll upload little things like this since I'm here in Korea and I get to, um, make food for, for my baby. Because that's what makes my baby the happiest, isn't it? You miss my home cooking? God. <laughs> Super excited that I made this. So some parts of this is going to have sound, so and some part of this is not going to have sound, and a lot of this is going to have a little bit of voiceover, as you're listening right now. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is that the carrots and onions were added. Okay, so the carrots, onions, and parsley are added to replace me having to put sugar or anything else into the a mirepoix. So I don't like celery, so in place of the celery, I used parsley. So I went ahead and took my time, the best I could, anyway, to chop up the onions. I saved half the onions for the meatballs, and then the second half the onions I put in the um, for the sauce. And then I sautéed the carrots with them and mushed them with a fork. Now, if I was at home, I would have used my stick blender after I put them inside the sauce before I added anything else. I would have used the stick blender to make it nice and smooth, but I didn't have that available to me, and there's no reason for me to buy that because my baby won't be using it or damn near anything else, probably. So... This has been an adventure because I literally have to buy everything to cook with. So I have, you know, itty bitty knives, whatever I could find that would work the best. Um, that's what I have. So I've bought plates, forks, knives. <laughs> I've bought food. There is no oven. Um, so if I want to use the oven, I actually have to go um, into another room. To use the oven. I also sped this part up because I thought this clip specifically was so long that you guys would get bored of just sitting there watching me cut onions, etc, etc, etc. So I was talking about the mirepoix. So normally that would be carrots, that would be onion, and that would be celery. But since I don't like celery, we used parsley and it worked out fantastic. I would suggest that you put the parsley in a lot um, earlier than I did in the sauce because it did. It's a little hard, um, uh, kind of like kale. It doesn't really break down um, unless you're actually going to do, like I said, actually going to do the um, long cooking time. So I spent a ridiculously long time making this. I did not have to add salt, number one, because I didn't have it, and number two, the um, cheese that I put in the meatballs and the caramelization of the fawn really helped with the um, salt content. Also, you know, this is actually a really easy recipe. It's just, it looks a little different um, because you have to have so many different items to use it. So I used regular hamburger and then mild Italian sausage that was already out of the casing. I used, like I said, um, the carrots. Um, I chopped up the onions. 
uh, I used garlic powder, uh, I used one egg. That's all I needed. I don't like putting things like um, bread or things like bread or breadcrumbs or any or crackers in my meatballs. Number one, an egg will hold it good enough. And when you do that, it, I just, I don't particularly care for it. It comes out more like a meatloaf and I think that's gross. But that's my own personal preference. Um, some of my baby's favorite part of the whole thing was the carrots in the sauce. So I was pretty happy about that, that um, the carrots worked really well to add sweetness and reduce the acidity because um, my darling has issues with uh, heartburn. So I found this a, a nice and easy way to kind of not have to deal with that. So the reason for the voice over love is that I kind of have lost my voice gorgeous, amazing at the time. Faces. I hope and I wasn't feeling very well, so, you know, I didn't want you guys to hear me coughing through the mask or anything kind of like that. I hope everybody has a wonderful, let's see, I believe it is Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember because tomorrow is Friday for us. So I guess it'll be your Thursday when you're watching this. So I hope everybody's doing well, and I will talk to you very, 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 very soon. Is that what you needed? Homemade skinny. Mm -hmm. the best. <laughs> fucking hurt. You're good. Yeah, that's why I've been missing. <laughs> you know how happy that makes me, right? Yes. <laughs> Love you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Especially right now. <laughs> happy if it makes me fuck. Baby. I'm so happy you're happy. God oh, damn it. You're the best. So a lot of you have been asking me questions on how I'm going to be here. I'm not really sure because we put in for a extension till the end of April or I would normally be coming back by the 17th or at least try to. And then I also wanted to stop off and visit my friend Michelle in Seattle and then head down to Portland to visit Alicia and possibly get to see my other bestie, um, Michelle. So I really hope I'm able to do that before I go home. Bye, guys. Love.